Yeah, my neck was looking a little bit dry, so I'm, I'm gonna put the chain off for a second content purposes. <laughs> What is up, everybody? It's your boy. Welcome back to another YouTube video today. I'm sorry, let me say my name properly. What's up, everybody? It is True Sage. Yes, it's been on True Sage. So, okay, let me explain the origin of this video really shortly. So, I was on a live stream about like maybe a couple days ago, and I quickly and briefly told a small story about how I basically got rejected on graduation. A couple comments was being said left and right about it. A couple days ago, I made a poll, and I want you guys to vote about what you guys want to see this weekend. It was mainly just live streams or something different like a TikTok video, a skit, or a story time. I have a TikTok, follow me on TikTok at True Sage. Couldn't really do a skit properly, so I thought about it's been a while since I've done a story time, so let me try doing that. So, basically, this is the story time about how I got rejected on my graduation. Day. I don't make the story time too long because no one wants to sit there for like 35 minutes listening to me do a daily therapy session So let's just keep it short to the point. Okay, cool, cool uh, I'm not gonna say the girl's name. I try my best to keep people names this included unless they're in the actual video themselves So let's just call this girl. Actually, let's just call her Ryan. Yeah, let's say that. All right So it all started at the very beginning of my senior year in high school You good uh Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Ooh. 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 I don't give a fuck. <laughs> My senior year of high school was in August of twenty eighteen. I graduated in 2019. Basically, long story short, for people that don't know, I used to be in a program in high school that was called JROTC. Basically, a junior military program that high school students can take, and you would basically be like a mini, a, a mini junior military soldier in high school. But one of the teams that I was on was a team called Raider Team, or AKA Adventure Team. It was basically you run, you get fit, you know, you go out and do stuff of that nature. I was a senior. This girl actually was, I think, a great younger than me, maybe even two. I was 17 and I think she was like actually 16. And so at the practice, we're running, we're exercising and at the practice, you know, for some odd reason, I felt a little bit more social that day. Because typically I'm an anti-social person, but I was so, like, not to be cocky, but known in JRTC, and I felt so comfortable in JRTC, it basically came my second home to the point where I felt comfortable enough to talk to anyone in the building because it's my second home. So I felt, I felt confident. I was like, woof. Hey, what's your name? Because the girl sounded like she was a pretty fun, interesting girl during practice. She was actually also good friends with one of my friends who name is Naya. You guys know Naya. She's been in several, several different videos of mine. Um, so, to be honest, I was just walking, Ooh. you know. And I wanted to know what her name was. I was like, hey, uh, what's your name? Couldn't understand what she was saying. She was like, my, my, my name is, um, and I was like, and she was like, my name is, I was like, what? And I was like, your name is Ryan? And she was like, no, my name is And I was like, oh, now it's Dana. Her name is not actually Ryan. That, that's, her name is nowhere near Ryan. Ironically though, I said I'm gonna call the girl Ryan, but the first thing about it, though is in real life, we call the girl Ryan. There are so much to little point, she actually thought her name was Ryan. I was like, okay, cool. Um, now I know your name, I'm gonna call you Ryan for the rest of the school year because um, I just like it. And she laughed, I was funny, you know, little girl giggle. That kind of shit, right? But again, we called her Ryan. We never called her. If I ever called her by her real name, it was like on some serious, like, you know how like you're in trouble in your parents' house and your mom calls you by your government name? That was all that kind of stuff if I called her Ryan. If I called her by her real name. So basically, me and her start to kick it off. We was good friends, actually. But the thing about her, though, is that I don't want to describe her too much, but she had a very baby face in my opinion so i didn't really see her as anything more than just a friend honestly and me and her went from just being just regular talk mates to being friends we got really really close as the school year went on like so close to the point where she was like top tier friend honestly in my opinion i think that she is probably the second coolest female i've ever hung out with in my entire life she was like a super dope friend so yeah and we used to hang out with each other a lot we became so close my senior year 
that it got to a point in time we'll be like looking for each other to go speak to each other and hang out anytime in JRTC we try to find each other and talk to each other after JRTC we do a whole bunch of different like like we was like really close and really cool and you know she was on adventure team rated team and I was too but I wasn't really that active on it so school year went on complications happened senior was the worst year of school for me ever period then you know skip all fast forward all the way to like you know April 26 2019 in game drops <laughs> You be all right, man. <laughs> Me, Naya, Ryan, and MC Vibes, we all went to go see Endgame. Honestly, it was a very good period of time in life. I started to like open up and smell the flowers because I hated my senior year so much. But as the school year went on, it, she, she started to look a lot more mature and started to kind of like grow into a little bit more of an older kind of, you know, physical fatigue. And she, started, she just looked a little bit more mature as time went on. So we ended up going on the last JRTC trip of my senior year. And that was all the way in Daytona, Florida, baby. And they told her Florida where they to compete for drill team purposes. While we're there, I start to kind of mentally be like, you know what? She looks a little bit older. She looks a little bit more mature. I kind of think I, I, I think I want to get at her. And I had a strange feeling that she felt the same way about me. Pass! My senior year in high school, I looked at completely different than what I do now. I ended up, do, um, when I was at RTC, it was a point in time I had hair senior year. There was a point in time where I didn't have hair senior year. And it was awful. At the end of senior year, I had to cut my mustache because I was part of JRTC. Had to shave my head. That itself was just a nightmare. So I don't know what she saw in me. My personality must have been like top tier. Hall of Fame personality badge, honestly. I had a strange feeling that she was starting to be, get into me. It's like, we went from, it's like the vibe changed from being like really close friends to like, hey, I like how you looking. While we're there, I'm like chatting up with her. I'm feeling her. Competition's over and it's time for us to leave. I kind of want to get something started between me and Ryan. It was a friend, a good friend of ours, not going to say a name. And we was out, was walking in Daytona Beach, we went to a store. It's just like, dude, go for it. She totally likes you. Like, I know she does. She told me to my face she likes you, so go for it. So this is the last day that we're there in Daytona, Florida before I come back to school and my senior year's over. We're in a hotel room, beautiful hotel room. We're at the top floor, right? I'm in the room with Elijah. <laughs> it's also uh, another good friend of mine and she's in the room with a couple of girls i'm also close with right and so they kind of both tell us that hey maybe you guys should go outside and go talk because we both know you guys like each other we go outside on the balcony top floor of the hotel room we looked over there was flashing lights because the carnival was going on there was a little ferris wheel going around with the flashing light the ocean wave you can see the ocean it was beautiful man it was a beautiful sight to see we're looking over the balcony talking to each other we're kind of just talking about how this is it i'm going to graduate at this point we both kind of mutually know that we like each other i don't remember if we addressed it like verbally but i think i may have, i think it may have been like i like you and she was like i like you too but we both like each other we both knew it right but you know me your boy sage you know i'm, I'm a pretty smooth criminal so i try to make a move on it you know what i mean so we're talking i so we're looking over this way i turn around i look at her i make eye contact she feels me looking at her so she turn around looking at me too but like locked eyes looking at each other's faces this whole anime fatigue are you guys gonna kiss kind of pose right look at her dead in the eyes she see the passion in my eyes and I go, hey, you want to kiss? She says, no. I said, cool. I go. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not joking when I say that happened. Yeah, I actually verbally asked her for some random reason, do you want to kiss? And then she said, no. To see the passion of my eyes. So, I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go back to my hotel room. Who like saying? And so we just walk off, right? However, I think there may have been a couple more words said in there on her side, but it didn't come off as no because we didn't like each other. It came off no as because she was just nervous to kiss me. I went back to my room, she went back to her room, and the boys in my room were like, bro, you didn't kiss her. Like, why? No, go back out there, go back out there, go back out there. And the girls are in her ear saying the same thing. Go, go back out there, go back out there, go back out there. So we're both kind of peer pressure to going back outside and talk on the same balcony. So I'm like, oh, do go back to the balcony. I'm like, huh, here we are again. On the same beautiful balcony. <laughs> I think we talk a little bit more about how we do it to this time. Like, you know, filler conversation for about two minutes. I'm like, you know, I was like, hey, the boys wanted me to come back out here and make things right with you. I don't want to see you on the same page. Do you still want to kiss? And then she was like, 
yeah, I want to kiss. We both mutually, we lean over, kiss each other. It wasn't like no long ass fucking, you know, fucking. <laughs> it was more like a small, and then that was it. After that, I looked up, she was smiling, I was smiling, and I asked her, you want to kiss again? And she said, yeah. And then same thing, 1.5 seconds, uh, stop. After that, I was like, do you want to kiss again? And she was like, yeah. And then we do the same thing again. And then, so yeah, we kissed like three times on the balcony. And then afterwards, we kind of hug, and then we both go back to our chair rooms. And then I tell the boys, mission accomplished, yeah! <laughs> So yeah, that happened, but that's actually not the end of the story time. What? So we get back, ride back to the school. My mission's over for senior year. That was my last day of school. I didn't, I, I think we arrived back that Sunday. I didn't graduate to like that Tuesday. That Tuesday hit, we're at the graduation site. Now again, she's in JRTC. There's a team called Saber Guard, which for all your anime fans, you probably think this is pretty cool. Saber Guard is basically where you're in a military uniform and you have swords. You have swords, they're called Saber, you have swords and it's a ceremonial event. So she was gonna be one of the people who's gonna hold the sword up in the air while I walk through. I kinda decided that, huh, after that day, things are going well between us. I kinda wanna make this girl my girlfriend, right? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I decided that, how can I do this in a way that is me? You guys may not like the method I did this, but I don't give a fuck. What I decided to do was that I got a sheet of paper. I still have a sheet of paper. Hold on. Oh my fucking, this is the sheet of paper, um, hold on. Actually, no, I am not joking when I tell you I kept this sheet of paper. Hold on, let me fold the motherfucker back up. This is a sheet of paper. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is what the paper said. Did I read time around? Even though she's supposed to read this and if I wasn't around, I don't know why I wrote that. This is what the sheet of paper says. Hello. This day is very special to me, but I want it to be special for you too. Will you be my girlfriend and let me be your first boyfriend? Because she never had a boyfriend before, so I wanted to be her first of a boyfriend. Also, a fun fact was that she didn't, I forgot to mention this. She never had a first kiss before. She told me all through the school year that she never had a first kiss. And I wanted to be the one to give her the first kiss. And so that's why I did it on the balcony while we was in Daytona Beach, Florida, looking over a, a nice balcony hotel with the ocean waves. I thought that was pretty romantic. And I wanted to be her first boyfriend ever too. So that's why I wrote this note. Once again, hello. This is a very special day to me, but I want this day special for you too. Will you be my girlfriend and be your very first boyfriend, a smiley face. I wrote that shit. Uh, the paper's a little bit dirty, but I wrote it like right here. This is the actual fucking page that I wrote it on. And obviously if I had the fucking paper, it didn't go well. So, so what happened was, was that while I'm graduating, walking through the saber line, she's holding the saber. So what I did was, was that I slid this piece of paper in the pocket of her class A. Class A is a military jacket. I slid it in her pocket while she was from the saber guard. So she's like this. I slide in the paper. Right? I didn't slide through the bra, but match just being like a fucking jacket pocket. I slid it in like this, you know what I'm saying? Caught them in a little field and I'm stopped. Let me not even say it on YouTube. I slid it in the jacket and then I went on with my graduation shit, right? And then eventually, you know, she read it and opened it up, right? I don't remember exactly when I was sitting in matches. I'm pretty sure like I was sitting down in the stands, right? And she texted me and she was just like, hey, you know, um, sorry, I can't be your girlfriend. Sorry. So then that happened. Um, and then later on, I think of the graduation, she gave me back the paper. I was pretty down on my graduation day a little bit, not a whole lot, cause I liked it her. But not like a huge amount to where I'm like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm totally devastated. It was more like a, it kind of sucks, but I'm still down. So then after that, I ended up going out to eat with me, Elijah, and then like a couple of my friends and at like the seafood place. Everyone's like having fun, dancing because they're graduating. And I'm just kind of just sitting down at the table just like. And then I went home and then, you know, I, I, I read the paper because she gave it back to me and I, have, I found out more information. She said that the reason why that she couldn't be my girlfriend was because that um about her parents and grandparents did not want her to have a boyfriend because she graduated high school. And I was like, that's that's ass. Why the f the what? Ironically though, the story is not in there. So fast forward. <laughs> Stop talking for a little while because it's kind of awkward. But then we ended up picking up a conversation like a couple months after I graduate. I forgot how it happened, but then she was kind of just like, Hey, you know, I didn't really appreciate the kiss that you gave me that night. I was like, Huh? And she was like, Yeah, I felt like it was forced and I felt like it was pressured. And she was like, You know what? You stole my first kiss. You know what? I don't I don't rock with you no more, dude. You stole my first kiss for me. That's a memory that I can never get back. And you stole it from me. And I was like, ah.
You, I asked you twice if you wanted the kids, and I should think multiple times if you wanted the kids, and she consent. She had consent, and she said yes. And then I asked her after we kissed again. After we kissed again, I said, "Hey, you want to kiss again?" She said yes. You want to kiss again? She said yes. You want to kiss again? She said yes. I asked you. I literally asked you. That was probably. I I literally asked you every single time you want to do it. And you said yes. So I was confused. And then she like ended up going off me through text messages saying that you stole my first kiss. I I don't fucking like you no more. Delete my number. Blah blah. blah. Blah, um, blah, 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 and then that happened. So, like, damn, dude. So, I'm kind of down. I go to work now, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Another girl that I just seem to have messed up with. Even though later on in life, I ended up texting her, and she was like, who is this? Because she actually did, did my number. And we ended up coming back cool again. And then the next school, well, I was out of school, but for her, the next school year, I saw her um, caked up with some dude. There was boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> About her parents and grandparents did not want to have a boyfriend because she graduated high school. So I was like, huh, I guess the whole thing you tell me about how you can have a boyfriend is a fucking lie. So yeah, but now we're back cool again. It's, yeah, that's a situation. So that is practically the story about how I got rejected on graduation night. Long story short, met a girl, called her Ryan, even though her real name was not Ryan. It was cool all through the school year. Of course, in the school year, I thought that she looked a lot more mature and looked better. I offered her to kiss. We ended up kissing three times. She rejected me graduation night. Then she ended up hating my guts. Now I'm back cool. Here we are now. Thank y'all so much for watching my story time. It wasn't a super deep complex story time like the last ones, but I got a lot more story times that can probably be animes and coming soon in the future. But if you did enjoy the story time, please comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? What are your thoughts about the girl? What are your thoughts about how I handled the situation? And now uh, let me know any more story times you want me to tell and I can possibly tell it. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, all the support is helpful to appreciate it. Remember, never more. Think about that you used to. Anybody likes Donuts have less, never more. I'm gonna see you guys and ready to see you guys. I'm out of here. Y'all boys need to keep it easy. He knows who I really am I never felt this empty before And if I ever need someone to come along Who's gonna go?